Hi, everyone. It's Hi. Lauren and Lori. Nice to see you. We hope you had a good week off. So this week we're going to do something fun. We want you to go out in your yard and what do, what do we want you to get? Or if you don't have any in your yard, maybe a park, um, somebody, somewhere nearby. What do we need, Lori? We need some leaves that are falling off of all the trees right now. There'll be different shapes and different colors. You are going to find some small ones and some big ones. So pick up quite a few of them. You might want to take a little bag with you. Um, I was able to go out in the back of the school in the playground area, and I was able to bring in quite a few just with my hands. But if you need help, you might want to take a bag or a basket or a friend with you. Yeah, so we're gonna get we're gonna get quite a few leaves. Maybe try to find like ten or fifteen if you can. And then what we're gonna do with these leaves? So depending on your skill level, um, some of you might be working on just trying to make a mark on the leaves, trying to color. So we're gonna grab, we're gonna use markers to do this because we tried crayons and that doesn't work very well. So we're gonna practice. So Lori, I want you to try to practice reaching. You're gonna hold the, the markers and then try to practice reaching for the marker. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Lauren hold the markers on my left side and I'm gonna use my right hand and I'm gonna cross midline and I'm gonna reach way over and try to grab that. Some people might need some support at the elbow or at the upper arm. If that's the case, go ahead and help, but try to have them reach out across their body, across the midline, and grasp onto the utensil. Once they grasp on, they can bring it back and set it down on the table, so releasing onto the table. Yeah, so we're gonna do that, and then, so Lori, I want you to, can you pick a leaf out, out of this pile of leaves that we have? Okay, I'm gonna pick out this one. Very good, and then all we're gonna do is, I want you to try to just color on that leaf. We're just gonna to try to make a mark on that with leaf. With the marker? Yes, with the marker. Okay, so I'm going to, again, use my fine motor skills, and I'm going to pull the lid off of the marker and set it down. Okay, just any kind of mark? Yeah, you're just gonna to try to color on that leaf. And while she's doing that, I'm gonna reach for a marker too. And then some of you might need help opening the marker too, but if not, try to use those muscles and open it. And some of you are working on making horizontal and vertical lines. So on my, I'm gonna put it down so you guys can see what we're doing. So on mine, I am gonna make lines on mine. It's kind of hard to see on the computer because I chose a dark leaf, but I just made some lines on my leaf. Very nice, Lori. That leaf is looking good. So Lori colored it. Nice job. She's got a blue on her leaf now. So some of you can work on that. Some of you can work on horizontal and vertical lines. I put my lid back on. Yes. I reach it over and put it in my holder. Yep, we got to put our marker away when we're done. And then let's see, what else can we do with this? I know um, some of you are working on letters. So you can also practice writing letters on these leaves. And I think, Lori, let's practice writing your name. Okay, I'm gonna reach over again and grab the marker, pull the lid off, and I'm going to write my name. Some of you may need to have your parents or friends write your name and you trace it. Um, I am able to write my name, so I'm going to write my name using all capital letters, saying the, the letter as I write it, L-O-R, Hi. Very good. So she wrote her name and now she's going to write the letters on, on the leaf. So she needs four leaves because so I'm going to use a darker marker on the leaf. So I'm going to write a capital L, just like in my name, a capital O, a capital R, and a capital Y. So we've got L, O, and then her R, and then a Y. And you can do your first name. Some of you are working on your last name. So depending on how you're doing, you can do more than just your first name. Mm -hmm. And then, Lori, I want you to match these letters, line them up with your name. I'm going to okay. mix them up so you don't know which one is which. I'm going to move this so you can see yeah, it. Yeah, we're going to put it there we like go. that. 
So, and you don't have to do it in order either. I found the letter R, and so I'm gonna match it up with the R and lay it down. Nice job. And oh, I found the O. So I'm gonna match it, not the O, but the O. And what letter is that? That's an L. I'm gonna match it with the L. And the last letter in my name is a Y. I'm gonna match it with the Y. L O R Y. Lori. Nice job, Lori. And one other thing I wanna talk about is some some um, of you are working on numbers. So now we did it, we did our name, we can also work on numbers. So I'm gonna reach for that black marker. And I'm going to write a number one on here. And same with those. Some of you may need your, your parent or whoever's helping you to write it, and then you might want to trace it. So we'll do, we'll just do two numbers just to show an example, but you can go higher. We'll do one. So numbers one and two, and then like Lori did with her name over there, you could write a number one and a number two. Don't forget, you can always do the hop on method or the, um, mm -hmm hand over hand method if you need assistance in writing. Yes, yes, always different ways to do it. So like I wrote those there, it, and you could have somebody, then you could trace it after somebody writes it for you. So I'm gonna match my number one on top of my one and my number two, and the number two. So that's working on all handwriting stuff. And then Lori, what's something else we could practice with these? Oh, we can practice cutting. And this is a good activity because it's a different kind of feeling than cutting paper. And so what we're gonna do is we'll each take a leaf and Lori, what kind of um, shape are you gonna draw on your leaf? I am gonna draw a triangle on my leaf. Okay, I'm gonna draw a square on my leaf. So once again, we're gonna try to reach for it and then I'm gonna put it down so you can see how we're drawing. So I'm gonna make a square. And same thing, you might want to have your whoever's helping you write, um, draw this for you, and then you could trace over it just to practice more handwriting. Some of you have um, objectives of cutting straight lines. You can draw a straight line on this, or you could even cut along the stem. You can mm -hmm. see the line that goes up on the leaf. You can try to cut on there if you're not able to draw a shape. Mm -hmm. Uh, cut it out, okay, so I'm going to cut out my square now. I'm going to hold on to it with one hand and I got to line my scissors up and squeeze, 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 turn, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. I like how you're turn. using your helper hand, Lauren. Thank you. It's helping turn that it way. It is. And I got to make sure I line my scissors up every time. So just like that. Or like Lori said, you can cut it down the middle. Or if you just want to practice cutting, you could just cut cut the leaf into little pieces. That's always something fun to do too. Okay. Yeah. Don't forget, we always have to clean our mess up. I'm using my helper hand and I'm nice turning job, that leaf. Lori. Turning again. And it's Very a much nice. different feeling than the paper, so yeah. it's kind of a cool activity. Yeah, something fun to do rather than always, you know, doing this stuff on pencil and paper. We thought the leaves, they're all around right now, so we hope you have fun with this and go out there and try to find some leaves. All right, bye everyone. Bye.